Miss Tracy here from the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. Welcome to another episode of our virtual early art education program. Today we're continuing our exploration into the secret lives of insects. So far we've learned that all insects have six legs, all insects have antennas on their heads, and that many insects can fly. We also learned how some insects make sounds. Today we're going to learn where some insects live, for we are going on a bug hunt. So sit crisscross applesauce and turn those listening ears on. Going on a bug hunt. Going on a bug hunt. I've got my keen eyes. I've got my keen eyes. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Oh, look at that little ant. It's so strong. I see it with my eyes. I see it with my eyes. Not my hands. Not my hands. It's carrying a big leaf. It's carrying a big leaf to its hill. We're going on a bug hunt. We're going on a bug hunt. I've got my listening ears. I've got my listening ears. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Oh, look at that bumblebee. It's so fuzzy. I see it with my eyes. I see it with my eyes. Not my hands. Not my hands. It's collecting pollen. It's collecting pollen for its hive. We're going on a bug hunt. Going on a bug hunt. I've got my kind heart. I've got my kind heart. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Oh, look at that grasshopper. It's so green. I see it with my eyes. I see it with my eyes. Not my hands. Not my hands. It hopped in the long grass. It hopped in the long grass. Bye bye, friend. Bye bye. That was awesome. I'm so proud of you, friends, for seeing with your eyes, not your hands, using your listening ears and your kind heart. We should always be kind to nature. Did you guys notice all the green grass and the beautiful flowers on our bug hunt? It's spring, which means if we look outside, we might be able to answer this week's question. What do we see growing outside? Do we see houses growing outside? No. Do we see cars growing outside? No. Do we see dinosaurs growing outside? No. Do we see plants growing outside? Yes. That's right. We see plants growing outside. In order to grow, plants need air. They need water. And they need sunlight. With these things, plants can grow tall and strong, and some will bloom beautiful flowers that provide food for insects like bees and butterflies. We did it, friends. We answered this week's question. Kiss your brain. Now we're going to do an art project inspired by nature. These are the materials you will need. A piece of paper, leaves, and sticks. So you want to put your paper on a flat surface. And what we're going to do is create insect art using leaves and stems and sticks. So to create an insect, we have to remember that all insects have six legs, have antennas on their heads, and that many insects can fly. So what you're going to do is arrange your pieces into an insect. What 
I love about this project is it's like nature's Etch-a-Sketch, where if you want to create a new image, you can just shake it up and start over. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye, friends.